social media etiquette, or otherwise known as a conversation about coffee and tea. You make a cup of tea. You can post it on your own wall. It's your wall and your tea. Enjoy your tea. I make a cup of coffee. I can post it on my own wall. It's my wall and my coffee. I will enjoy my coffee. If you post a cup of tea on your wall, you have no right to expect that everyone should enjoy your tea. It's your wall, and you can post about whatever tea you want, but their mind is their own. You can still enjoy your tea. If I decide to post a cup of coffee on my wall, it's my wall. I have no right to expect you to like coffee, and you have no right to comment on my coffee and tell me how I'm wrong and should own drink tea. It's my wall and my coffee. I will enjoy my coffee. You can still enjoy your tea, just not on my wall because it's not yours. If I post about coffee and say my post has nothing to do with tea, you can decide it must really be about tea, but that doesn't give you the right to argue with me and say my post must be about tea because you think so. Remember, I'm the only person who knows if I was posting about coffee or tea. If I choose to have no drama on my wall and therefore never post about upcoming votes about tea, whether anyone has the right to kill tea plants, or anything else that may be controversial about tea, if you try to turn my discussion into a controversial one about your own tea agenda, violate the rules of etiquette, and argue with my beverage preferences on my wall, note that I may remove you from the beverage conversation to maintain the type of environment I want on my own wall. But in summary, you have the right to free speech about tea. Etiquette dictates that would be on your own wall and not on anyone else's. Much like the right to peaceful tea assembly, which allows so on public property, not someone else's. If you're not peaceful, or if you try to assemble tea on my property which is not yours, or if you believe the right to free tea means I must choose your tea and not my own, then do not be surprised if you are permanently removed from my tea conversations due to gross breach of etiquette. This tongue-in-cheek social tea etiquette brought to you by Vicky Wu, your sometimes tongue-in-cheek marketing guru. I'm sure this video will be found controversial by some because after all, this is the internet.